Scientific writers have a lot of choice when it comes to incorporating information from sources. It's often not as simple as writing a single sentence about a single source. So in this video, we'll take a look at some paraphrase in action. Here are some examples. A single piece of information, for example, a result or a definition, condensed into a single, portion of a single, or multiple sentences. An entire study methodology or other section of an article condensed into one to two sentences or described at length in a paragraph. The purpose, approach, results, and interpretation of a single study, basically an entire article condensed into one or more sentences, or multiple sources condensed into a word, a phrase, a single or multiple sentences. Let's take a look at this diagram which is designed to illustrate the many different ways that scientific writers take information from sources and paraphrase it in their own words for use in their own writing. The blocks on the left-hand side of the diagram contain the four example lengths of source information we just reviewed. These four types, of course, don't represent every option when it comes to source usage. Writers might use, for example, two or three pieces of information, but not an entire section. The idea on this left-hand side is to represent a spectrum of lengths of source information from a little to a lot. A similar spectrum exists here on the right-hand side of the diagram, except these lengths represent the length of the paraphrase, starting at a single word, moving to a phrase or clause, a single sentence, and multiple sentences. In the middle, lines travel from one type of source usage to all four lengths. At the top, notice the text. This, meaning all lengths of source information, can be paraphrased, lines travel to all options, as this, any length of paraphrase. Moving down then, is the representation that each type or length of source information can be paraphrased as each type or length a paraphrase. Again, the writer has choice. Now that we've discussed the spectrums of lengths and types and ways that source information can be paraphrased, let's look at some examples. The introduction of this article from the Journal of the American Geriatric Society provides a great study for seeing all four lengths in action. Let's begin with single words. In the first sentence of this second paragraph, quote, as with other conditions affecting older persons, such as falls and delirium, disability is often considered a geriatric syndrome, end quote. The single words falls and delirium are both cited to different sources that take up these exact topics for their entire articles. Moving to the final sentence of this paragraph, Quote, evidence supporting this model of disability has been shown for essential activities of daily living and long-term disability in community mobility, end quote. We see that the first clause of the sentence is cited to one source and the final phrase of this sentence is cited to a different source. This type of concise synthesis, using single words and phrases or clauses to represent the ideas of sources, is most often found in contexts in which word count limits are extremely tight. The first sentence of the next paragraph, quote, unlike conditions that invariably progress, such as Alzheimer's disease, disability is often a recurrent disorder characterized by high rates of recovery, end quote, is a simple example of a single sentence paraphrase that comes from the results of its source study. And the final example from this article comes from the very first paragraph which contains two, but very easily could have been split into three, sentences of paraphrase from two sources that obviously have consensus of information. Now, in contexts that don't have the same rigidity of word count as manuscripts and published articles do, for example, course papers, theses, or capstone projects, writers can sometimes spend a bit more time explaining their source material. Here is a multiple sentence paraphrase in a quality improvement capstone project in nursing. It begins by introducing the context of a study, 
a survey of 278 physicians, nurse practitioners, and physician assistants in primary care, and uses a second sentence to outline the results of that study. Notice how it also ends with a sentence of analysis that explains the relevance of this study to the writer's overall project. Finally, here's an entire paragraph of paraphrase from the same project that explains a model of care. Although the first sentence comes from a different source, notably the keystone text that first established the model of care, the rest of the paragraph is paraphrased from a single source and spends its time in an in-depth explanation of the model.